Hello, I'm Lisa and today we're going to do a demo that is usually used in blood spatter analysis in forensic science. Now I realise that blood spatter is not the most kid-friendly subject in the world, so luckily the mechanisms behind it also work with coloured water as well. Now the demo uses trigonometry to work out what we call the angle of impact for a blood droplet, or in our case, a water droplet. The angle of impact is simply the angle at which our water droplet hits a surface. Now, what you might not already know is that a water droplet is spherical in shape when it's travelling through the air, until it's hit by either another object or another water droplet, or until it hits, in our case, a surface. To do this activity, you'll need a piece of cardboard. Now, you need two panels that are linked together on like a hinge, so then we can create an angle that we want. And you'll see some dots. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. So you need to make a hole there. So then you can thread some string through it and that'll help hold our little cardboard angle changer together. To set the angle that you want, place the protractor next to your cardboard and move it up and down to the desired angle. It's important to remember that the angle at which the water will hit the paper is 90 degrees minus whatever angle is showing on the protractor. In this case, the angle is set to 30 degrees, which means the angle of impact for the water will be 60 degrees. So I suggest having a loose knot tied in the string when you're moving the cardboard around so it helps hold it in place. And once you've got the angle that you want, you just stick the string down using a piece of sellotape. Um, for the larger angles, you might need something to place underneath the surface, like I do here, um, as the cardboard won't hold itself up. To attach a piece of paper to your device, simply use two pegs at the top, like so. To make the water itself, you just need a couple of drops of food colouring, and you mix it with some water and fill a pipette. Now you want to lightly drop one drop of water above the paper. I usually repeat it a couple of times by moving across horizontally in case one of my droplets goes wrong. Now you already know the angle of impact of your water droplet because you chose it yourself, but in a real life situation you wouldn't already know it. If you've done this experiment a lot you may have noticed that the pattern of the actual water droplet on your piece of paper seems to correlate to the angle at which you set your apparatus at. Now this is because we need the width and the height of the blood droplet to put into a certain formula to then work out the angle of impact itself. So the formula that we use is on screen now. To work out the angle of impact, first measure the width and the height of the droplet in centimetres. Try to measure the main droplet and ignore any tails that might be present. Next, divide the width by the height. For my one, I got 1.2 centimetres for the width and 1.4 centimetres for the height, so I just divided 1.2 by 1.4 and I got 0.86 when I rounded it up to two decimal places. Using your calculator or an ArcSign website, I use the website because I don't actually have a calculator, you want to work out your angle. It's just ArcSign times the answer that you got from dividing the width by the height of your blood droplet. For mine, it came up with 59 degrees, which is pretty good considering I had set it at a 60 degree angle. And there you have it. You've used a mathematical formula to determine the angle of impact of a water droplet. And if you ever decide to go and study forensic science, which I suggest you do because it's awesome, um, you can do it on blood spatter too. Thank you for watching and if you haven't done so already you can look at my other video for last month's global science show which had an easy demo all on fingerprints.